Hey everyone, I'm Ruth. Welcome back to another video. In this tutorial, I'll show you how I draw a leopard with watercolor pencils. I'll be using my Caran uh, watercolor pencils and my Faber-Castell watercolor pencils and combine the two. So let's get right into the tutorial. I start by taping my paper to the surface and then I go in with my black Caran d'Ache Supra Color Pencil to block in all the darkest shadows and all the black spots in the fur of the leopard. I use a very light hand when drawing these darkest values. I don't put any pressure on my pencil. I just block in all the shadows very lightly. I'm not paying any attention to detail yet. It's just really blocking in the darkest shadows. And at this point the black seems really light here. But when I go over it later with my brush with water on it, it will get a lot darker. And I will add many more layers as well. Now I start with the eye. For the eye I use many shades of green. Very light green for the base layer. And darker shades for the shadow areas. And I make sure that I leave my highlights white, so I let the white of the paper be the highlight in the eyes. So on the other eye I do the same, a base layer of very light green and then adding many shades of green to add some more color and depth to the eye. And then on to the fur. I use many shades of cream, yellow, ochre and brown for the fur. Also grey tones and white as well. And I start with a very light base layer. Just adding color to the fur here and not paying attention yet to the details. And on the nose I use shades of pink, some brown, some red tones as well. Just a base layer to start with. So when I have laid down a base layer of color, I go in with my paintbrush with water on it and really make sure that you don't put too much water on your brush because then you will lift off all of the pigment and you don't want to do that. So basically it's just a damp brush. You can go over all of the color here and you see that the color gets way more vivid when adding water to it. And then when that layer is dry, I go in with my pencils again, adding more color to the fur. And as I said in the intro, I'm using my Faber-Castell Albrecht Dürer watercolor pencils and my Caran d'Ache Supracolor Soft watercolor pencils for this drawing. I combine the two. And I really like combining these two brands of watercolor pencils. The Caran d'Ache Supracolor Soft are really soft pencils. They work really nice and give a lot of color. And the Faber-Castell Albrecht Dürer pencils are 
a little harder and you can add really fine detail with them so that's really nice the two combined so at this point i am already paying some more attention to detail and the most important thing here is to pay attention to the direction the fur is growing in really take a good look at your reference photo from time to time or actually all the time to see how you have to draw in the fur and the direction that the fur is growing in this will add a lot of realism to your drawing it makes all the difference if you pay attention to this direction that the fur is growing in and I'm still not putting any pressure on my pencils I'm using a very light hand and adding a lot of layers to create a realistic look If you want to see more of my artwork and learn how to paint and draw yourself you can head over to my Patreon page I'll put the link down in the description box Here you'll find a lot of in-depth tutorials real-time videos, reference photos to print out for your own artwork, tips and tricks videos, art materials, and a lot more. So, I hope to meet you there. So, adding water again to my drawing. And as you can see, the colors really pop when you add water to the pencil. And when that's dry, I go in again with my pencils to add another layer of color. So I am using Arch Hot Pressed Watercolor Paper. And I tape that to my table so the paper won't start to buckle when I add water to it. And these pencils work really nice on this paper. So as you can see, I put a little more pressure here on my black pencil to add the darkest values and slowly building up my layers to create depth in my drawing. I'm adding water again. I use my black velvet silver brush for this. It's a round brush, number 10. And now I go in with my white pencil and various brown shades and black to create the fur texture. And I use my Faber-Castell Albrecht Dürer pencils here to add the finest detail. And as you can see with each layer, I create more and more realism. As I said before, building up layers is really important in realism. Because you create a lot of depth and dimension in your drawing or painting. And for the fur texture, I draw tiny lines to create that realistic looking fur. I create my background with Windsor and Newton watercolors. And I use various shades of green and mix them in together to create depth. And I add some salt to create a nice texture. So onto the fur again, letting the background dry and working some more on the fur texture here. And onto the beard and the fur inside of the ear, slowly building up my layers. And for the highlights, 
I use the white of the paper as much as I can. So that means that I leave the paper white where I want the highlights to be. So this leopard is sitting on a tree. And I just drew in the base layer with my pencils. And now I add some water and you can see that the colors become really vivid when adding the water. I also added another layer to the background. And some more detail to the tree trunk. Some shadow. Underneath the poles and underneath the beard of the leopard as well. And again, when adding the water to your drawing, don't use too much water, just a bit of water on your brush, then wipe your brush off on a cloth and add it to your drawing. So here I use my Posca pen for the whiskers. It's really opaque white. And because that's such fine detail, I use this Posca pen for the whiskers. So another layer of pencil, adding more and more fine detail here to the nose and some shadow to the eyes and some more detail to the ears as well. And I just keep layering. Layering is key creating realism, adding some more detail to the fur and the tiny little hairs on the nose and I want the head to be in focus and the pole and the body out of focus so the attention is really drawn to the head so I don't put too much detail on the paw and the body. And I keep adding details and shadow and highlights to the fur to create that realistic look. And as you can see, these final layers, I don't use water anymore. I just use water for the first few layers. And then when I really start adding the detail, I don't add water anymore. Because by adding the water, you remove some of the detail. And I don't want that, so I don't add any water to these final layers. Now and then you see me using a knife, it's a pen cutter, slice tool, pen cutter it's called. And I use that to scrape off some of the pigment and then I can add some more highlights to that area. I didn't think it worked really well on these watercolor pencil drawings so I didn't use it too much in this drawing. So some more highlights with the Posca pen for the whitest whites on the areas that the whiskers have to go. And then some more shadow to the trunk of the tree to add some more detail. Then some water to blend it all out. And adding the final details until I'm happy with the result.
some more highlights. And some more shadows as well. And I really like working with these watercolor pencils. So there are a lot more tutorials to come. And then I'm ready to take off the tape. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell to get informed when a new video comes out. You can leave a comment down below and don't forget to share my video with all your friends. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you. Bye.